This really sucks. <laughs> Just cool. going. Not, not much. Just about to get my ticket. <laughs> it's taking a while, isn't it? Oh, a minute. Worth it though. Get that f camera on my phone. Go on Facebook and see what the comments are. It's pretty funny. Is it all you? No, no, it's not all me either. It's like everybody's just outraged. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, it's really busy today. The whole week. The whole. It is. It is, Rick. Let me give you a ticket. Don't run away. Yep. We were breaking her in. You. Get your head out of your ass, huh? It's absolutely ridiculous. I've skied all over. I got season passes all over. When you walk in and buy a season pass, they give you a pass. You don't have to go and stand in line every single morning. I want everybody to go on to Facebook and comment like that woman did about uh, season passes and how they don't haven't posted the snow report since December 27th. Give it to them. It's not like it's their first year. I'm uh, multi-talented. I ski and snowboard. I'm a ski and snowboard instructor and a ski patroller. Are you married? Yes, I am. She's not here, though. She's not here. She's not here. That's why we're having fun. <laughs> And the girl told me how proud this place is becoming. That she's a local. She's a local one? Yes. Mm. We have like lift lines. The camera you... wake with chair and all that shit across the interwebs. When people are skiing, how they're reacting to the quote of the day, realistically. They don't react about, about the quote of the day because they don't care about <laughs> There's no reaction. It's just, okay, I want you, my chair lifting to go up. That's it. That's the reaction. Like, hey, hurry up. I need to go out. I have, I have to see more and more and more and more and more. What and more. is this? Come on, you can do quotes. Come on, quotes. Shakespeare. Okay. It's got to be inspiration or not. We're going through a profit raise. Yeah. Shakespeare? Yeah, give him something. I am an ass. That is what I called myself in that show. Her boyfriend climbed the mountain to ski because the the chairlifting wasn't. If we if we no, had, if we that's had not true. With this, there was not any days where we did not operate the lift. Other than we had well, wind days. Wind days were the only days. Oh wait, well, well, yeah. He told oh, me it was windy well, that's days. That's right. Yes, yeah. was the windy days. That's like saying Delta's planes don't work because a hurricane came through and they couldn't operate their planes during the hurricane. Okay, he broke the law. In the windy days, people should not ski in the mountains. Well, they can go. They, it's the chairlift. The chairlift just can't. Oh, only the chairlift. Yeah, you'll be fine oh. walk up the hill. Oh, okay. It's a judgment Wait. call. Fair enough. Yeah. How'd, you, how'd your friend do going down the mountain? He went down. Was his first? Oh, I can't see this because it's not beginners at all of this place. This is really great area. Yeah. Let's travel if we can even get the speed. There's no use. Well, we got uh, a ton of powder last night over a foot, and uh, we are. So we can't run the triple because it's too windy. So we're going to try to run the double, but but there's plenty of people boot packing up in order to enjoy the 12 to 15 inches of fresh powder and it's just enjoyable. So we're headed up. Yeah.
Marginal and there's new chair movement stuff, but everybody up there is like, oh, it's not that bad. Well, they're not up there during a gust. Do so you think it's okay or he doesn't? He said it's marginal. What is, what is, what? You, you asked, is it marginal or is it good? He said it's marginal. You gave him two choices, Monty. <laughs> well, he's. But is he getting that because the customers are pressuring him? Well, he said he's getting a lot of pressure from customers. That's, that, that's irrelevant, yeah. I, I mean, know. is it. I mean, he said there's movement on the chairs. Yeah, there's, he said, five, six inches, but we're not, like, hitting halos right now on the next stop. Back to Jeff McMahon. Go ahead. Hey, Jeff, is this your Jeep still running down here in front of the room? It sure is. I'm just throwing that out there. Thanks. Do you have a boho cigar in your Jeep? Is that you? No. Oh. It just looked like yours and head up. Like the funny looking little bow. I thought that was, yeah. was kind of funny. Jeff put a little snowman on it. A little boho bunny on my. What's that? Is running. How many buses do we have on the road right now? Two. Copy that patrol. We're going to be working on getting the double chair open. We got two buses running. Let's open everything up. Just them all in operation. We are loading passengers on the double chair. Mumblebee is open. Jeff to mountain operations, lift operations, double chair, open. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. 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 Get back to Bohemia, perfect! Yeah! Um, so, I put a sign outside my RV. It says employee housing. Employee housing's in the she, parking she, lot? She's a night watchman, so therefore the trailer can be there. We'll argue it then, because I don't think you're gonna win. I no, have to wait, wait, wait. I think girls should ski here for free. We should support women skiers and uh, give them a break, like a chance. You know? uh, Bring to that the, uh, girl to ski free.
chick ski free. Like how I bring you right to the goods. Yeah. What is it? Two <laughs> thirty. No one's even skied that yet today. It's got to traverse a little bit. Know where you're going. Powder all day. The Bohemia buffet. Anything? One letter. Just one letter? Yeah. Jeez, that's pretty pathetic. Making someone's day though. Is yeah. That uh-huh. <laughs> How many people actually live up here? <laughs> Can't get mail delivered to a car, you know? <laughs> I mean, right now, the major population is the parking lot of Mount Bohemia. What do you think about 20 people? There'll be about 20 vehicles in the lot tonight. How about the mailman? So, there's this generator in the parking lot, and it wakes me up in the middle of the night. Then I'm dreaming that these guys take out machine guns on uh, me and like five friends. I have to take cover behind a bush and I'm like, maybe I can get Lady Mayhem and like pick them up. This is just from a generator making so much noise in the parking lot. They literally just turned it off. The lifts have already been open for probably an hour and a half. Why Why do they need to be running the generator? I don't heat my RV at night. Why, why are these young punks needing to, to heat themselves at night? I, I thought guys run a little hotter than girls. I don't know. Four, four snowboarders all beautifully lined up. I don't know. I kind of want to knock them over. I don't need to make bad mojo in the parking lot. I don't, I don't. Leave? She's the Bohemian police. She's got to make sure everyone out here is conforming to Bohemian oh. regulation in the parking lot. It's like no generators anywhere near her or, uh, you know, just any tomfoolery out here. We're trying to ski powder. We're not uh, here trying to cause trouble. <laughs> you don't want to mess with Lee. <laughs> it looks pretty redneck, but honestly, if it works, it works, you know? You go down onto your neighborhood Lowe's, pick up some one-inch foam board insulation and cut it to size to fit your windows. And honestly, it surprisingly holds in a lot of heat. I did this like two weeks ago, just in an afternoon. Nice. Yeah. How much did it cost you? Twenty dollars. <laughs> So it's Mount Bohemian OSHA standards. Um, so there's like a commune starting again in the parking lot, Mount Bohemia. And what's funny is I put the sign on my RV that says employee parking. Um, but everyone likes, really likes to park next to me, like within a few cars. And the other problem is, is then they bring generators to the parking lot. They, they look good. They just got propane. They're set up for Yo! What's happening? Oh, just, just checking in. Uh, you guys don't have a generator, right? Yes, we do. It's right on the side over here. All right. So, so I can run the cooking gear and stuff. Now. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. As long as you don't run it, like, through the night. Okay. That's because we're all, this is like a Quiet. noise pollution free zone. I got you. Thank you, sir. No problem. Thank you. Have yeah, a good one. You too. Otherwise, I'll have to leave a note. Oh, I 
dumb they'll answer. Oh. You, What's you know, up? You know who lives here? I live here. You live here. I, yeah. I heard your guys' generator at like 7 in the morning or something. Probably. Um, I, I don't know if you know, but we don't actually allow camping in Mount Bohemia. Right. Uh, so we like to quite or camp quietly. Really? We can so, tell that's all a generator. Oh, I'm doing that, there. man. I'm doing that right now. I tell everyone <laughs> who's got a generator uh, that... Um, yeah, well, we're, we're leaving anyway. We're going to a campsite, so... Uh, well, cool. You're going to come out here and tell me I can't run a generator last I night. tell everyone. When we got here, right we got here at right 2 there. in the morning. We cool. got here at 2 in the morning, drove through the storm, and all you got to say to you is not like, hey, cool for coming and hanging out at Bohemia. You don't no, even talk to you anymore, man. You, I live in suck. the parking lot. You suck, You know man. how much heat we're, I use? We're, we're leaving your gay ass parking lot. If we go talk to everyone, yeah, I am, it's man. 20 below zero. I do. Guys, it's not 20 well, below. I, I sleep in there without a generator, guys. I got propane tanks. Go, go. I don't even give a we're, we're leaving. That's the, that's the, they, they weren't happy. But you know what? I, I just asked for courtesy in the parking lot. And cold beer. <laughs> and cold beer. And there's a lot of people. And cold beer. You can't be without generators.